Hello and welcome back to more Family Comp Detective Club, where last time, uh, we discovered Jiru's body hanging from a tree in the forest, which means we now have three deaths on our hands we're investigating. We're investigating Kiku's death, who as far as we know, died simply from natural causes, even though the doctor's like, you know, it's kind of strange that her heart just stopped so suddenly, because it really shouldn't have done that, especially considering, and it's especially weird, the doubly weird, considering the time of the murder itself, I'm like, <laughs> you, you don't say, buddy. And then we found uh, we, we found Kanji's body dead in the shed, and we found Jiro's body hanging from the forest. So now we have three different deaths that we're investigating, and the, the police think that uh, the, the police think that Kira is responsible for Kanji's death, uh, and they think that Jiro's death was a suicide. I don't fully I'm not fully committed to either of those ideas because just, they clearly don't know what they're doing in this game. Uh, but well, you know what? It's going to keep going, and we're going to see if we can find out exactly what's going on here. Uh, and the way we're going to do this by just talking to people. We'll start with good old. Good old station clerk. He's a he, he's been our pals at the beginning of the game. Well, let's see if he, he has any information for us. Oh, it's you. The villagers are acting weird. What else is new? They they think they saw Kiku's corpse rise from the grave and walk around. Of course, they're acting weird. Seems like the the number of people who claim to have seen Miss Kiku has skyrocketed. It, uh, yeah, it's just like, oh, did you see that thing? Yeah, I totally saw that thing. We're we're like totally so cool because we we saw the same thing. Let's bond over this. Thing that definitely didn't that we definitely aren't pretending to happen anyway uh i guess we should probably talk to you so what do you know about i mean it's, it's like i feel like we i feel like we've asked we, we've talked to so many different people about these exact same conversation topics over and over and over again so i guess let's because let, 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 previously i would just go through the whole list and hope that i got some right where i'm gonna try to narrow it down let's, let's see if we can just focus on because kiku is the most relevant thing right now because obviously everyone around here is like oh my god i saw kiku's corpse rise from the grave which that did not happen what do you mean they saw miss kiku exactly as it sounds a bunch of people are claiming to have seen miss kiku yeah well, a bunch of people are claim have claimed to see bigfoot wandering through the woods so hey, let's let's temper our expectations here please and bizarrely, all the sightings were around the same time. I wonder what they saw exactly. Do you think they really... Ah, oh, now I'm getting myself all spooked. That's impossible. I, mean, I would assume so, but again, we don't know what the limits of these writers are yet, so... Maybe, maybe they'll go down that route. Who knows? I uh, know anything else? Oh yeah, I saw Dr. Kamado jump on a train heading out of town. He looked really... Uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's because he's like, Oh no, the curse is real! Gotta, gotta get the hell out of Dodge, bye! Did something happen again? Come on, I rushed out of town, I wonder what happened. Anyways. Huh? Stuff is really going south here. It's just one thing after another. Even I'm beginning to believe that Miss Kiku really did rise from the dead. Based on, what, the, 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 the testimony of random passerby? Yeah, I, I don't, I wouldn't go by that at all. Speaking of random passerby, though, can we talk to any of them? Anybody here? Oh, something different this time. Miss Kiki was risen, risen from the grave. It's the curse, the curse of the Ayashiro family. Woo! Miss Kiku is coming, I'm telling you, horrifying. Oh, just end me now. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The legend, I'm guessing. Miss Kiku is risen, risen from the grave. Yeah, you, you already, you already told me that. Great, that was a worthless. Okay, do you know anything of use to me? I'm sure of it. Miss Kiku must have come back from the dead. The legends are true. I'll bet you anything. Kiku's grave is an empty hole right now. Well, then why don't you just go check? Well, let's, let's use our thinky brains here and realize if what you're saying is true. Why don't we just go check the grave? Huh? I think that's a pretty good idea. That sounds ridiculous, but it seems like the villagers saw something at least. Well, I mean, it's again, it's not that hard to check. Just go check the grave. Miss Kiku, Miss Kiku clawed her way out from the grave, and she's creeping around the streets at night. We'll know for sure once we dig up her grave. No, no, you don't have to do that. Why, I, why would you? Oh, dear God. No, okay, so if what you're saying is true, then wouldn't the grave have already been dug up because she would have had to, you know, dig herself out of it? You don't need to... Why would you... Oh, good Lord. I'm gonna just go. Well, let's go. Let's I'm just head out. I'm gonna go check the grave before you idiots decide to dig it up. Let's let, let's just go. Let's just let's just head out and see see what's happening over here. Are we, are we, are we, gonna, are we gonna get to talk to the judge again? Hey, it's the judge. Hey there, Mr. Genshin. Oh, what's the matter? Uh, <laughs> where do I even begin answering that question? Uh, first and foremost, apparently people saw Kiku walking around. The village is going crazy. All they'll talk about is Miss Kiku and her apparent resurrection. Don't be a fool. 
That's preposterous. I suggest you just go home. That's not how I would expect you to react to that, but okay. Do you know anything about Kazuto, since no one here apparently will tell me about him? Mr. Genshin, do you know of Kazuto Ayashiro? What? Where did you- Why is everyone so surprised to know that I know this? I'm a detective. Supposedly he's Yui Ayashiro's younger brother. You don't know- You know him, don't you? Please, just go home for the day. I- m My job as a detective kind of prevents me from doing that. But, okay. Uh, what else? What else? Um, I guess now we'll just start going down the list. I don't know if you heard the news, but Yui Ayashiro committed suicide. I- As far as the police know, but- just. Oh, really? He had no reaction to that? Okay. Well, is there anything that you can tell? How about the, how about, how about the legend? How about we ask about the legend that, that's corrupting? I, probably, I guess I probably should have opened with that. The dead coming back to life. What a horrible legend. That's preposterous. I just, I just, oh my god. It's, is there anything that you can actually tell me without you saying, just go home. Just quit your job. Go home. Don't, don't, don't actually investigate as a detective. Just go home. You're like, yes, buddy. Buddy. Okay. Uh, oh, open. Uh, do I have to open the, which, which, which one? Oh. Oh, oh dear. Okay, um, do we have to open this up? This is not gonna be good. Cut it out! How many times do I have to tell you not to touch the graves? Well, so far, once, but okay. That's it? Okay. okay. Is there anything you know? Let's, let's just go broad. Anything at all that you can tell me but that won't result in you just telling me to go home. I wanted to ask you about the villagers, what they're, what, what they're saying. Sorry, but were you- Oh my god! Every- Literally! You- what, Talking to people in this universe is such a giant pain in the ass. Everyone's either like, why would I help you? It's not like you're a detective or anything. And then I've or just like, go home. Like, I'm not gonna help you. It's like Duh. making my job really hard here, buddy. Oh good lord almighty. Cut it out, even if you look closer, there's no more blood stain uh, oh no. Blood stain? Did you just say blood stain? Mr. Genshin, what are you talking about? Oh, do we do we do we slip with the tongue? Can we finally get information out of him? Please tell me, what's this about a blood stain? Well, you see, the other day I was having to- I was having a look at the tombstone and I noticed something. The tip of the, st the tombstone seemed to have moved. What? To top it off, there was blood on the stone. It was right before Mr. Kanji was murdered. And you didn't think this was worth... bringing up? I didn't want any more rumors to spread, so I kept it to myself, but... Uh, of course, I don't believe for a second that Miss Kiki was erected. That's all, I don't know anything- Oh, I, I'm not implying that this proves the- crazy villagers correct. I'm implying this is vital information to the crime scene report that was left out. You, stupid Genshin. <sighs> well, you know what? At least we finally got something out of him. Is there anything else that you can tell me now that you're finally t talking? Mr. Genshin, I'm sorry, but it seems like you're still hiding something. <laughs> you see right through me, don't you? You see, I found this. It's a hand mirror. It looks really old. Take a look at the back. Huh? Is this? It was a strange image on the back of the hand mirror. In the center was a diamond symbol up to the right, a rabbit to the left, a bird, a rat on top, and a horse below. Okay. What is this? I have no idea. It seems like the animals represent the cardinal directions. That's... bizarre. Where did you find this? I found it on the hill leading to the cliff. Take a good look. Oh? This is the Ayashio family's crest. Yes, if, if I tell the villagers I found this, who knows what they'll say next. Last night, I had to scold someone who mentioned the idea of literally digging up her grave. Yeah, well, the villagers are, are freaking insane. They're they're actually crazy, so... They're just... They're, mm, good lord almighty. Sir, uh, sure, you're a detective, right? Hope it'll be useful for you. Uh, you know what? Hey, you know what? At least Genshin finally came around to being like, Yes, I sh it makes sense for me to help you since you're the detective. Instead of just being like, Go home! Stupid... G.O.G., go home! Points anyone who gets that reference. Uh, and sorry for being secretive. Yeah, you know, apology accepted. There we go. See, it all worked out in the end. As much as I wanted to tell you all that I know, I need to leave. Will you come again later? Sure. Got it. Thank you. I'm sure we'll stop biking at some point. For now, let's head to the ISU residence. Let's see if we can't dig up anything else. Uh, specifically, uh, specifically actually about this hand mirror. This hand mirror is a very odd thing to bring up suddenly. So let's, we'll see if, uh, hey, Mr. Butler, sir. Would you happen to know anything about a random hand mirror that that some dude found? Good morning, Sir Magic. Please come on in. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, anyone missing a hand mirror recently? Because if so, I'm about to make someone's day. I kind of found one. So, did you figure anything out? Uh, yes. Hey, that hand mirror. 
Oh? You recognize it, I assume? This was Mr. Kiku's favorite hot mirror. I could have sworn a Kane had. I can't replace it inside the coffin during the very. Oh. Uh, okay. Where did you find that? Mr. Genshin from Kagura Temple said he found it. He lent it to me. Then what I heard last night was. What you heard last night? What what did you what did you hear last night? You stop stop being vague. As you know, last night I went to the bed early. Just when I was starting to fall asleep, I heard a noise coming from the front door. I went to go check, thinking it was Lady Azusa, but no one was there. Okay, that could be literally anything. You, I, oh, oh no, I heard a noise, and then I went to go check, and there was no one there. Cool, that noise could have come from literally anywhere or anything. I, that, is, is that the best evidence you got? So then, so I'm heading out. Oh, where to, sir? I, I don't actually know. So many bizarre things are happening, I just need a moment to cool off, and I'm sure you could use some time to calm down too, Mr. Zenzu. Well, I, I imagine he was relatively calm before you showed up, so, you know. Oh, well, I suppose you're right. I appreciate your kindness, sir. Please, as always, be careful. Well, I, I typically try my best, but then I got pushed off a... <laughs> Speak of the devil, I got pushed off a cliff by probably a Uh, I came back to the cliff, but what now? Are we still, are we still trying to remember everything? There's still... See, there seems to be a lot I haven't remembered yet. There's no point staying here. Okay, so where are we going now? Oh, joy! Amachi's apartment! Oh, great. My favorite! I don't really have a reason to, but I'm trying to visit Mr. Amachi. I mean, well, technically, you do have a reason to, and it's it's to um, gain more information. Oh, Mr. Amachi, were you going somewhere? Hey, it's you! I, just, I was just on my way out. No problem, I'll come back another time. Oh, it's not like I'm in a hurry. I have time to talk a little. Come on in. Are you sure? Something's troubling you, isn't it? As I promised you before, you can talk to me about anything. Thank you. I don't trust you. I don't trust this man. He. Th there's gotta be a. Pay there's gonna be a payoff for him being here. Like that's the thing. I see all the setups. I see all the. I see all the keys dangling. I'm just waiting for the payoff. So, did you figure out anything about the talisman? No, no one seems to know anything about it. I see, maybe it was a personal thing? I guess you haven't fully recovered your memories. I'll be praying for your memories to return. Yeah, okay. Well, I, the only thing that you can even help us with, is, as far as we know, is asking about ourselves, so... Think I'll ever get my memories back? Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You're getting them back little by little, right? I want your memories to return, too. I know the case is important, but don't forget to also take care of yourself. I'll be praying for your memories to return. Yes, it's so, so you told me. Um, I guess we can ask him if he knows anything about the talisman. I doubt he would, but okay. Are you sure I said something about a talisman? Yeah, I'm sure that's what you said. I don't think I'm mistaken. Doesn't it seem really strange that you wouldn't- that you waited until just now to bring this up? It seems really strange. Uh, okay, was there- before I leave you behind, since you're worthless, do you- is there anything useful that you know? Anything at all. Good thing you came by. Uh, I'm going to be gone for a while in business. Oh no, what a horrible tragedy. Oh? I'm sure you don't really need me around. I really don't. I'm glad you came by so I could let you know. I didn't want you to visit me and find me gone. Please, I'm the one that's been causing so much hassle. Thank you so much. Oh, look at the time. I have to get going soon. Is that alright with you? Right, sorry to have taken up your time. I'll head out. Let's meet up again when I come back. I mean, you could have just... If you were that concerned, you could have just told me that you were leaving. You, you didn't need to... You, you didn't need to accidentally stumble into me. Amachi will be gone for a while. I'm glad I came so I could see him before he left. Well, I, I mean, sure, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Where can we go that we haven't... I mean... Clifftop is worthless. These people are insane... I guess we can go back to the temple, but we are we already talked to the judge, and he didn't really give us... I mean, he gave us the hand mirror and told us about the blood that he was a little bit too late in talking to us about, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Hello, Mr. Genshin. Oh, you're back. I'll tr uh, oh, sorry, that, that's the wrong one. I'll try to cooperate as much as possible from now on, really. Thanks, that'd be great. Yeah, it'd be great if you could actually cooperate for a change. I mean, jeez. Alright, I guess we'll just go down the list from top to bottom. Um, as Kiku went through a lot after her husband died. She had to live life bearing the sins her husband committed. Okay, could you be any more vague about that? I guess maybe I should focus on the hand mirror. I was told that this hand mirror was placed inside Miss Kiku's coffin at the time of her funeral. Oh, yes, I do remember seeing Akane tucking it inside Miss Kiku's pocket. There's no way it would be laying around there. Is it possible... Oh, excuse me. That there's more than one hand mirror? Because that, that would explain this significantly. Uh... I'm just worried the villagers are going to dig up her grave. 
Don't I understand? Accepting our peace would only invite more grudges from the family. Yeah, I, I wouldn't... That, 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 that's a terrible idea. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't do that. Uh, just, I mean, I can ask you about him again, but this, he, this didn't really get us anywhere last time. Uh, Kazuto, hmm. Yuri did, in fact, have a little brother named Kazuto. But I don't know where he is now. I haven't a clue. I guess I have no choice but to ask Kiku about Kazuto. This Kiku felt bad about Kazuto. Kiku felt bad? Hmm, interesting. Speaking of Kiku, uh, you know, I mean, I, I know I already asked you about her, but I heard Miss Kiku was, yeah, see, that's the thing. There's always, like, you, you can never know for sure which things you have to talk about twice, so I'm just, it's just, it's just good to keep checking in every now and again to make sure I'm still on track. I heard that Miss Kiku was the one who drove Mr. Kazuto and his mother away. But by, by which I mean, like, I just keep constantly trying them over and over again to see which ones work. That's true. Miss Kiku regretted it from the bottom of her heart. She admitted that she was wrong. Okay. Uh, speaking of, well, I mean, while we're on the topic of Yuri, we may as well uh, talk about Yuri. I heard that Miss Yuri and Mr. Kazuto were close. They were. If Yuri had stayed, I'm sure Kazuto and his mother wouldn't have been driven out of the mansion. They left the Ayushu family the year after Yuri took off. I'm sure his mother went through many hardships. Kazuto was only 14 years old at the time. Jesus Christ, that's a hell of a time to be booted out on your own. Okay. Um, what else? I mean, I guess, do, do I need to ask you about him again? Kazuto and his mother may have held a grudge against her. I don't really blame them, though. Okay, that was well, well, I, that wasn't much worth much of anything. How about the family as a whole? We just asked about the family as a whole. You know of any family other than Kazuto's that might have a grudge against the Ayashiro family? I heard that there was a family that died by suicide. I know that Miss Kiku did all she could to make up for her husband's sins. If someone still has a grudge, then Miss Kiku died in vain. That's all I know. I hope it was useful. Uh, it remains to be seen, but thank you anyway. It was always fun to chat. That's all I know. I hope, I hope it was useful. Again, I hope so, but it remains to be seen. Um, so if we need to talk to Yukiku, can we go to the cliff again? I, I mean, we can well, we, we can hope that she'll be here. I, nope, it's just this dude again. Oh, you're Mr. Haikichi. Ah, it's you again. Let me guess, you're here hoping to find that beautiful lady, aren't you? Yes, but not for the reasons you're here for, for to do that. Unfortunately, she's not here yet. You are just creepy. Like, you're just, like, maximum creep material. Just loitering around this stupid cliff all day long, hoping that... Like, look at that smile. That is, that is, that is a face of a creeper. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, while we're here, I guess may as well talk to you. Do you know anything? Uh, you want to see her, right? I noticed something good about her. Do I even want to know what you mean by that? Let's find out. What do you mean, good? You see, it's a secret. I... Great. What incredibly insightful commentary from Haikichi. I'm so glad I asked you about this. Okay, well, you know what? Forget you. Let's let's examine our surroundings and maybe... Maybe one day we'll remember what we were doing here. I told you she ain't around. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to... I'm just trying to remember what I'm doing here. Okay. Do I have to call out for her? Is that, is that what we're doing here? Hey, Yukiku, please save me from this man. What if Yukiku was closer to us than we realized? This is Yukiku. How could you possibly hide in a wide-open cliff area? Hmm? Who's that? Is that the name of the beauty? Oh, so her name is Yukiku? What a pretty name, but you can't you can yell her name all you want. She ain't there, ha ha. Okay, well now I want to do it again just to spite you. It's Yukiku, hello. You're so persistent. Fine, then I'll I give in, I'll tell you my secret. Oh, that, that worked. Just kidding, gotcha. You. you know, I'm kind of a detective investigating a case that's directly tied to someone to whom she's engaged, so... Maybe you should tell me your little secret there, buddy. Assuming it's even useful at all. If you want to get information from someone, you just have to pay them a compliment. Simple, eh? Haha. Uh, how does one how does one pay you a compliment? D will does engaging you do that? Mr. Kichi, have you gotten more handsome since I last saw you last? I, apparently that did that. Oh, what an honest lie. Fine, then I'll just tell you. The, the, the lady usually comes around 5 p.m. If you come then, I think you'll be able to talk to her. She comes at a certain time every day, and you know this because you are just the absolute creep. I don't really like lying to get information, but it was a means to an end. I'll come back here around 5 p.m. Okay, this 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 dude's creepy. But at least now we know we have to come back. Uh, I hope Mr. Zenzu is feeling a little better at least. I, I mean, I, I don't think anyone in this family will be feeling better for quite a while, given the incredibly harrowing state of affairs over the past few days. I'm waiting for you, Sir Magic. 
Huh? What's the matter? A lady claiming to be Miss Yuri's childhood friend is here to see you. Really? I'll see you right away. Yuri's childhood friend? Please, follow me. Really? A, a, a childhood friend of Yuri? Lady Onishi, the detective has returned. Sorry to keep you waiting, I'm Trevor from Utsugi Detective Agency. Hello, detective. I'm Katsuko Onishi. I heard about Yuri's family and all they're going through right now. When I called earlier, Mr. Senzu mentioned you. I wanted to help in any way I can, so I had a sudden visit. Oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Thank you so much. I mean, I, but we'll still talk. Okay, obviously we, t obviously we ask about Yuri. Can you tell me about Miss Yuri? Like, where the hell she is right now? Yuri and I were very close since we were little, but... One day she just left without saying a word. I'm guessing she didn't want me to worry. It's, it's so like her. But a little while after that, Yuri sent me a postcard. Okay, can you... Do you have the postcard on hand? Because if you do, that would be extremely useful. Extremely useful, please. Postcard details. Is there any way I can borrow that postcard? And I have an army, but I'll have to bring it to you another day. Don't. You, really, you didn't bring you, you, you didn't bring the postcard with you. You didn't think that might be important when we know that we can't find her. And you should give me a, photo, a very old photo of a pretty pretty lady with a warm smile. This is a photo of Yuri from back then. Please take it with you. Thank you for this. I'll take good care of it. Okay. Uh, I guess we can show the picture around. Let's do that. This is a pic. This 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 is a picture of Yuri from back then. Please take it with you. Okay, that showing it didn't do anything. Um, maybe we can show it to Zenzu. Let's try that. Yes, may I help you? Uh, first let's just first we'll just, let's just talk about the postcard first. Oh no, actually no, we'll talk about Yuri then the postcard. Uh, nothing outside of what I've told you already. All right, well, never mind. I didn't guess anywhere, but we definitely have got the postcard. Uh, a postcard from Lady Yuri. What what insightful commentary? Okay, do I I guess I'll just show it to you then. Oh, Lady Yuri, it's been so long since I've seen her face. That, that did not get us anywhere at all. That was worthless. Okay, back to, back to talking to you, because clearly talking to Kenzu was a waste of time. Um, do you, since you're most directly closely tied to Yuri, do you know anything about Kazuto? Kazuto loved Yuri from the bottom of his heart, and Yuri adored Kazuto as if, as if he were her real little brother. Okay. Uh, I guess I can ask about the family as a whole. I used to come here and play all the time as a kid. To hear that the family's experiencing so much loss breaks my heart. Mm, I don't know. It, it, doesn't her appearance seem a little too sudden? I don't know if I trust this. All right, but, but, but before I leave you, is there any anything else interesting that you know? When Yuri sent me the postcard, I guess she was living in Yatsuka. I was happy to hear that she was doing well living with her partner despite the margins along the way. Well, looks like we finally got, have a location to look into. It's, it definitely will. Thank you. So, thanks so much for coming by. It's no problem at all. I'll, I've always been worried about, about Yuri and that you took this long to stop by. I just hope she's still living a happy life. Well, I guess we're going to have to find out at some point or another. So, Magic, I think it's best to have the lady go home before it gets too dark. I was thinking of escorting her home. Hmm? Before it gets too dark? What? <laughs> what, she's going to turn into a werewolf when, when the sun goes down? What, what, what are we dealing with here? Oh, what's the time? It's almost 5 p.m., sir. Wow, how convenient. Oh no, I better hurry. Thank you for your time, Miss, Miss Onishi. You're welcome. I just hope it was helpful. I'll bring the postcard tomorrow. You probably should have brought it today, but you did at least give us a location, which is which is something, admittedly. Uh, if you'll excuse me, we have a date with a mystery woman at the cliff. At the, at the su we, have, we have a date with a mysterious woman at the suicide cliff. That's a sentence. Yukiku? Oh, you're... I'm... I'm here. Yes. Uh, can I ask you more about Kazuto? I did some more digging, and it turns out that Mr. Kazuto was a member of the Ayashua family. Ah, I knew it. I don't know if he has anything to do with recent crimes, but he definitely has deep ties with, with, with the Ayashua, so I need information about him. I felt like you might have some information that could help. That's why I wanted to meet with you again. Please, would you mind sharing anything else you can think about, uh, think about Mr. Kazuto? Sure. Let's see, I told you before that the Kazuto left to study law, right? Apparently, it all started when he received a letter one day, although he didn't tell me much about it. But once he read the letter, he talked about how strongly he felt the law was riddled with contradictions. And as soon as his mother died, he left town immediately. A letter? I wonder who it was from. Well, do you know about that? Anything else you can share about Mr. Kazuto? Now that you mention it, Kazuto really rarely talked about his family. I'm sure he had his reasons. I must be going. I guess I'll have to wait another day. To really? 
you showed up here for like five minutes and then you're just gonna dip out? Oh, goodbye for now. A letter that caused Casado to leave. I wonder what kind of contradictions bothered him. What could it have been? Oh, I'm sure we'll find that eventually. Alright, that was not quite what I was hoping it was gonna be. I was kinda, kinda building up my hopes a little bit too much, I suppose. Uh, I was really hoping that we were gonna get some more useful information there, but we didn't get a whole lot. Okay, well now, now, moment of truth. We're headed to Yatsuka, to where we may very well just find the, the elusive Yuri. Could Yuri be somewhere in this town? If she is, I'm sure we'll find her eventually. Alright, is there anyone here we can talk to? Excuse me, am I asking you something? Sorry, I'm in a rush. I don't even live here. See ya. But, great. Lovely chat. I'm so glad that you were here. Uh, can we call anyone else? Yes? What is it? Uh, do you know any... Do you know a person... Actually, no, just... What do you know in general? Before I ask you about Yuri. I'm sorry, I just moved here. Okay. Oh, then you probably aren't gonna be much help, but I'll ask anyway. Do you know who Yuri is? Have you ever heard of Yuri Ayashiru? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, she probably wouldn't go by her actual name, because if she did, that would make her extremely obvious for when people trying to find her. Uh, but it was worth a shot anyway. Oh, the old lady at the snack store knows this town very well. I'll go get her for you. Hold on a sec. I appreciate it. I mean, we could just show her the photo. We could just show her the, I mean, was, is that an option? Can, can we, do we even have the... Yes, how can I help you? Uh, we, uh can I show you the photo of Yuri? Man, this is this lady is Miss Yuri. Do you know her? I feel like I've seen her before, but I've been more forgetful late lately. Oh great, this is gonna be a very fruitful conversation. Okay, well, do you know anything about her? You know a person named Yuri Ayashiru? Yuri Ayashiru? I feel like I've heard the name before. I tend to be more forgetful these days. And besides, this town has changed a lot. All the homes that used to exist are gone. So basically, basically what you're telling me is we came here for nothing. Is is what you're telling me here? Uh, anything you're able to share with me is helpful. Hmm. Well, someone has been visiting a lot lately. It's always They always have the same kinds of things. So someone besides me came? What did this person look like? Yeah, I'm turning 80 this year. Ooh, yes. Mm, that, you know, I, that, this is hopeless. Yeah, this is... This, this conversation is useless. Oh, oh, do we have to leave? Oh, I guess we're going back to the office. Okay. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. I'll look at the time I should return to the office. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, no problem. I feel like we're gonna make a whole lot of progress. I feel like we kind of stunted a little bit. Um, like there, there was a, there was a. Oh my god! Again with the close-up camera angle. Welcome back, Trevor. Did you uncover much today? Uh, I, I guess. I mean, we uncovered the thing about the hand mirror, um, and we found her old friend, or her old friend found us. But, but like every time I thought we were gonna get a lead, it just got knocked down. It's like, oh, uh, your, uh, her, Yuri's old friend showed up at the location with her. Yeah, well, it turns out everyone there has amnesia. So, oh, oops. Um, oh, we might get more information about Kazuto out of Weird Cliff Lady? Well, turns out she has diddly do information for us. So, w w there, there's a lot of potential things that we could have learned today, but we didn't seem to actually learn a whole lot. Uh, I found out that Akira definitely wasn't meeting up with Jiro. I see. But witnesses are certain that the person he was with was in his late 30s and 40s. Logged his late 30s and 40s. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
it, it, that's all part of the part, part of the pacing so it, it's fine well I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll pick up some steam again real soon but that'll be for now thanks for watching stay tuned for next time catch you all tomorrow for some more family detective club goodbye